Nigerians are afraid and what people thought about and of course what we analyzed on this platform somehow somehow it is coming out to be true welcome once again to this channel like and share subscribe if you're new here the fear is this once Bola Metunubu steps in he's going to step in with all his family and to a lot of people this is good this is a man who carries his family along some might say oh it is because you are not the president or you are not a member of that family what is the big deal now according to the constitution constitution needs to be followed there is nothing sentimental about this is this right or not and what am i talking about i'm going to break it down and we will also be watching a short clip now a picture went viral it is that of bola metinumbu's wife remy the first lady which according to people is a ceremonial position title she was in a sit-in meeting with cbn governor emefele president of nigeria bola metinumbu vice president shetima and also with group executive group chief executive officer of nigeria national petroleum company limited nnpcl mele kiare now people are saying it is not clear they do not know in what capacity she is sitting down there for they say this is important this is crucial the president and the vice are those that we voted for palali the president and why is she there now some say they do not see anything wrong in this they said that uh, she's a politician she has been a senator for a long time and it is not a big deal if she offers uh, expertise or experience or suggestion. We do not know if she said anything during the meeting or she's just in there sitting. Maybe she came in as the secretary, although the federal government of Nigeria, the president, often will have secretary and that is what it is supposed to be. Maybe she's there to keep tab on certain things. Do not forget that uh, we are talking about the two most important, not uh, we are not joking here. We are talking about petroleum, which has enriched a lot of criminals in Nigeria. And also, we are talking about the Central Bank of Nigeria, the governor of it. So, if she wants to be there, like, you know what? I'm going to be here, sitting down, listening, putting down details in case my husband forgets. I want to be, a, be his personal secretary. And it is on a personal base. No salary involved. We just want to make sure that nothing goes um, unnoticed there. It could be. But then... The president can choose to invite whoever it is, as long as it is not written in the law um, that you cannot bring any other person around. The president can choose to invite anybody as the president to sit in during meetings such as this. If this is permitted in the constitution, I want you to drop your comment. Now, we'll be watching some few analysis and we'll come back to talk more. And uh, not just that alone, you also be watching and, uh, and also hearing the daughter of the president, the Yaloja, that has changed her title to Yaloja General of Nigeria. This has created buzz all over social media. People are like, seriously? What nonsense is this? The fear is that Bola Tinubu's family will take over Nigeria. They will occupy everywhere. Bola Shade Tinubu Ojo, the daughter of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on Wednesday, set social media buzz after declaring herself the Yaloja General of Nigeria. The title meant to identify her as the president of all market men and women in the country was added to her Twitter bio after the inauguration of her father, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as president of Nigeria. Bola Shade in 2013 was crowned the Yaloja of Lagos. She was said to have inherited the title from her paternal grandmother, the late president general of Lagos market men and women, Alaja Abibat. Mugaji. All right, I wanted to take some reactions, but in the meantime, Falasha de Tinubu is seeking support from her father's administration to achieve economic growth, especially at the grassroots level. She made the appeal during a meeting organized by stakeholders on improving the quality of life for women, youth, and the vulnerable in the society on Tuesday, stating that the country can only move forward with the combined effort of everyone. My father is now the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the, 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 I, I need to help him in my own way, now, you know, connecting to the people, seeking people's opinion, 
getting information from the people how they are, then processing it and taking it back to the system that these are the areas we will want you, the people want you to do something. It's not just my responsibility alone. We, uh, women, youth, we need to work together and stand up to the government that, you know, they've promised this. And it is very important for us to achieve it. So we will not relent in our effort, calling the attention of the government that ensuring that all the promises made is being kept. There she is, speaking in her capacity as the Alodja General of Nigeria. I, I see you blinking. I know that. Oh, she's the first daughter, right? First daughter of Absol the Federal, Federal Republic, Republic of, of Nigeria. Oh, that was added. That was. Was it? Was it? Was it? Yes. She has taken it off her yes. state. I'm just on her Okay, page. very good, because I know her. She has removed the first daughter. She has removed the first daughter. Removed the first daughter. Why should she deny? No, no, no. no. The she the she's the first daughter of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria is still there. Because she was before the General of Lagos. So now she's... She has in her capacity. Promoted herself. Yeah, she has promoted herself. And by the way, um, Oji, be, be, before, president. yeah, and you heard that in her statement. Mm. Yes. Before the um, inauguration, she had a pre inauguration dinner as well for okay. her people. And then she also had a dinner with friends of the Yaloja Initiative where she had some speakers yeah. come. And she said she wanted to focus on women and youths. Okay. I just wonder what the first lady would do in this instance. I don't know how they, you know, usually the, um, the first lady would take on yeah. certain CSO roles. But when, when you look at things like this, a few days back, Oji, we're still arguing about the role of the First Lady, whether it's constitutional or not. And now we have to grapple first with daughter. the idea of a first daughter yeah. and perhaps a first son. Son, yes. It, it's coming very soon. It's a waste of, it, it's an abuse of power in the first instance. The first thing I just want to say very quickly is that I think the president should call his family to order. We need to, there's a lot of work to be done and we shouldn't be spending time talking about the daughter of the president saying that she has to advise. Advise him in your family meetings, in your sitting room and not bring it to the public and, and, be, and, and make Nigerians upset by putting firstly, first daughter of, the, of Nigeria. Okay. I, would like, I would like to disagree with you. You can't tell, you can't tell us how we are going to run our lives, please. Okay. All right? Okay. When my father was giving birth to me as the first daughter, <laughs> you were not there. Oh, you're speaking so for her. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got, so I got, please, I know your level. All right, all please. right. So okay. I am, as, as speaking in my capacity, please know your level. Please, do you, do you know how long it took my father to be able to be president? <laughs> All right, Rufai, the violence is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. All right, let's Stay start. Stay in your place, Ayo. Welcome back, welcome back. Now, you watched that clip. You saw the clip and you saw the reactions. They are saying, oh, well, Buari said his own wife belongs to the room, to the kitchen and the other room, meaning is saying clearly that the woman or women have no place in his government or maybe according to the constitution from what he understands his wife has no role control maybe some charity here and there well as it is he is out but bola metinumbu being a city boy as he calls himself a city boy he said my own reasoning is different of course he lived abroad and not just that alone bola metinumbu operates differently he will not want to take his wife off. In fact, let us even look at Bola Metinubu. He, he has kept just this woman running around him, both of them running around each other for a long time. Not because he might not have other children somewhere. I'm not talking about, you know, having children, having other women. But he has kept that face for a long time. He has not done double women publicly. I'm a polygamous man, I'm a Muslim. No, he has kept just one woman. And I think he did this according to instruction that he has been given from when he was young. He could have played here, done this, done that. But the woman that we know with him is just this one. And he has decided to bring this person on board. Like, you know what? Sit in, listen, take notes, jot, keep information. Or whatever it is. That is what he has decided to do. Maybe. I don't know. But people are buzzing around saying, what nonsense is this? Did we choose? Did we vote for Remy Tulumbu? Is Rebi Tunubu going to be in control? Does Bola Metunubu look like a man that Rebi Tunubu will control the government for? No. Let's say Bola Metunubu is sick. He cannot do certain things. The law says give it to the vice president. You think Bola Metunubu is stupid? He knows what happened between Buhari and Osibajo. Osibajo, a professor, a pastor, intelligent, everything. Well, because he wasn't that, uh, you know, 
up there to be president. He had to be number two for a man that cannot measure to him intellectually, whatever way. He had to be number two. He could not fulfill his mandate, his destiny. He couldn't offer to Nigerians what he has inside of him. You see? Now, you think Bola Metunubu would be stupid enough to allow Shetima run Nigeria when he knows what happened to a Yoruba man and to a man that... Uh, you know, try to betray him. No, he also make sure that he remains president, president. That is the kind of person that he is. You can see that he's a resolute person. We need to look at character also. Although what is more important is the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If it says that she cannot be there, then she cannot be there. Now let's go to the Yaloja general. Um, you heard she quickly removed the first daughter of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. She has removed that. Maybe she has been called and she has been told, hey, why are you putting yourself as first daughter? Why are you trying to struggle the position also? Why are you trying to put yourself there like, ah, well, I'll tell you the reason why she did this. You see, that presidency has been something that they all have been hoping for. It's something that has been known for a very long time. They've been struggling for it. Bola Ben Tunubu had that vision to be president and eventually he fulfilled it. He fulfilled it against all odds. Let us be sincere about it. Against all odds, Bola Metunubu was able to achieve this feat. No, regardless of what anybody wants to say, he was able to get it. After all, other people also had the ability, capability. They had the resources to do what Bola Metunubu did to get there. But they did not win it. That is the truth. If it's about money, I think has a lot of money. Peter Obi is not poor. Whoever it is, all of them could, but Bola Metunubu became the president of Nigeria. So, um, I think that is one of the things. And to see as in that thing brought her to that point of putting her name and saying, I am the first daughter of this and that. The constitution does not permit any of this anyway. But then, she quickly removed it. Maybe she was advised and told, hey, remove that first daughter thing from your... Imagine she also saying the first son. We all know that they are the first family. Of course, we all know, according to how it is done all over the world, we know they are, they, are, they are the first this and that. She has already created an initiative. Programs have been lined up. She says she's going to take advantage of this position to empower to do this. She also putting herself on that spot. Soon, you'll be surprised that she wants to be governor of Lagos State. You'll be surprised that she wants to be a senator. She wants to occupy one position. But then, I don't know if that will conflict with her ideological position, which uh, Bola Metunubu knows is more you know, lucrative. Than her becoming a politician in that capacity. So um, there is a lot of billions of naira, and uh, who else do you want to trust apart from your own blood? You know that's what Bola Metinubu is running. Uh, well, what are your thoughts as regards this one? He has just two sons that we know that are old enough and active. Um, apart from the two children that Remy Tinubu has, they say they live abroad. We've never seen them around. They've not ever, ever in any way shown themselves around their father. Neither have they shown themselves around their mother. They said they, are, they have some problems and that we do not want to talk about here. Every family has its own thing. But we know that there are two people old enough who are functional, who are you know, grown up, and that is uh, Sheyi and the Yaoloja General. What are your thoughts? Like and share. Subscribe to this channel. Like and share. Very important. Subscribe if you're new here.